Hi, this is Roger Balzer. Welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for July 5th of 2016. Our title for this week is The Process, Long-Term Indicators. At Balzer Wealth Management, we've been using point and figure charts since the late 1990s. These charts are great for looking at mutual funds, stocks, bonds, and even interest rates. With these charts, you can clearly see when things are moving in a positive direction or a negative direction. We call these trends. They are really easy for lots of investors who don't have experience. All you need to do is look at the pictures and you can clearly see the trend that's going on. What is great about these charts is they can give us the directions of the markets as well. There are a couple of charts that I tune into on a regular basis just to kind of take the temperature of the market. I've divided these charts into long-term and intermediate-term indicators. In the short term, it's anyone's guess what the markets will do, but we do have indicators for a short term. Today I'm going to take a look at the long-term indicators. They paint a backdrop of what is going on in the market. What I found is when I look back at when signals were given on these charts, you can tie them to some pretty big turns in the marketplace. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. The first of my three long-term indicators is the bullish percent for all mutual funds. It may seem crazy to get a long-term indicator from mutual funds, but this indicator gives us a long-term picture of money in motion. You may be wondering what the bullish percent is. The bullish percent is the percent of charts in the universe, whatever universe you're looking at, on buy signals. The chart you're viewing now is a bullish percent for all equity mutual funds. The numbers you see on the left is a percentage of equity mutual funds on point and figure buy signals. When looking at a chart like this, you need to know the column it is in, and a column of X's means it's moving up, and that's good. And O's are going down, and that's not so good. You also need to know the signals, a buy signal or a sell signal. A buy signal is where a column of X's exceeds a previous column of X's. A sell signal is where a column of O's exceeds a previous column of O's. It's not necessarily important to know the patterns, but you must know the column and the signal. This chart has an uncanny ability to foreshadow big losses in the markets. In July of 2008, this indicator reversed into a lower column of O's from a higher top with two sell signals. August of 2011, it reversed from a higher top when the U.S. was in their, their debt crisis. Then in August of 2015, another column change and two sell signals. We're currently seeing this indicator move positive, and that's a good thing. The bullish percent for all equity funds is a pretty good long-term indicator. The second long-term indicator I look at is the percent of mutual funds that are trading in a positive trend. Now, what do I mean by a positive trend? Any chart that is trading over and above its support line is in a positive trend. It can go up and it can go down, but as long as it's staying above support, you're okay. You're in a positive trend. This chart does not speak often, but when it does, you must listen. It's important to remember when you're looking at long-term charts, it's important to know if you're on offense or defense in your field position. These charts do that. When they are washed out at levels and reverse up, you have the wind at your back. The odds of making money are pretty good. Likewise, when they reverse from lofty levels, you want to be careful with your investments. It's interesting to note that this chart produced a sell signal three times in 2008. One in January, another one in July, then a third in September of 2008. So this indicator gave us a pretty good idea of what's happening in 2008. It also reversed in August of 2011, as our other indicator did when the U.S. had their debt crisis nonsense. Currently, we are positive, yet on a sell signal. Our final long-term indicator is a measure of cash versus equities. For cash, we use the 13-week Treasury bill rate and compare it to the S&P 500. Like the other two indicators, it's important to know whether you are on offense or defense and your field position. When this chart reverses, it happens again at major turns in the markets. In July of 08, we got a turn. March of 2009, we got a turn. November of 2011, a second buy signal. Then, in March of 2012, a third buy signal. I want you to keep in mind when I review these long-term charts, they help me paint a picture of whether we are on offense in a wealth accumulation mode or in defense in a wealth preservation mode. 
As always, if you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, like us to take a look at your 401k or any of your equity positions, please get in touch with us at 440-934-3114, on the cell at 440-610-3012, or shoot me an email, roger at balserwealth.com. Until next time, make it a great week.